Spirit of the Game. Hi, Benito here for Spectre Studios for episode 2 of Gaming Plus. And this time, as you can see on the title, I'm featuring Laser Cut Car. Uh, another affordable gaming piece of terrain that I want to add because I've been going around with a lot of things looking for terrain that basically can help amplify our, our game setting for what we play, for, especially for us, which is Infinity. But I think this terrain piece can fit in a couple of other games, like the Night Model game system that's out there for the superheroes. Um, you can pretty much do something with that. And there's a couple of the futuristic games that can kind of also hit into that. You know, it also works for Games Workshop 40K, something if you want to do that part of it. Now, the reason why I'm bringing this in, because really what's out there now is the MDF terrain. You see a lot of that with our terrain, uh, terrain time videos that we're doing a lot of this. This piece is also going to be a part of, of what you see here as a complete piece to the end of one of our terrain time videos that we're adding into this. But I, again, I want to feature it a little bit on its own so you can kind of see it and maybe go into terrain time and take a look at it when that video is posted because it is really, really uh, affordable um, because it is made of a different cardstock. And if you know how to work with it, um, I have a blog on our website that kind of covers an early version of the of, of terrain piece that I work with. Uh, it's called the Kama Building that I kind of work with. But this one's a little bit more preset as a building, and I wanted to make sure you guys had a chance to kind of see this because I'm really amazed at what Mark did for this for our terrain for our train time video and how it basically came out because I think it's super, super, really looking good. So I want you guys to look at that for enough of me kind of talking. So this is what we're going to do. And again, another feature of this video is this is what happens if you are a Patreon supporter of our business model. We uh, put the complex on there. They're our local hobby store that does a lot of our helping with the gaming and stuff like that. But we br I brought this to the forefront for them to kind of um, see. They saw some pictures of this, but this is the thing about it. There's a couple little pieces that basically come right attached pretty easy because I'm going to show you a little bit after this, but me. All right. So this piece is pretty much removable part of it as you put in that and we've got the logo that we added onto this and I have really decorated it up. Now the biggest thing you're probably not quite aware when you look at this that this is basically a cardstock that has a very been put together layered to be pretty thick and it is as you can hear me tapping hard of that is very very thick after all the coating and stuff going on so I'm going to show you a little bit more this has been a little bit more attached because I uh, basically painted that on because I wanted that one to remain but removable parts to this uh, this thing does break down so we can take this part these signs you can see easily attached can also come off. You already saw that kind of pack off. And this on the side here is also very removable. And if you really wanted to, these things layer right on top of each other to pretty much pack up an easy storage to go part of it. And this thing basically just sitting on top for that part of it. But again, pretty easily assembled piece of this. Anything of these could be glued if you want it a little iron on. And again, I'm bringing this up to a lot of people's, I think, your attention here because it is, this was a two-story building. So if you're looking for the infinity aspect of this, um, that's a lot of height layer that you're going to have for your miniatures to basically use on that. And that is awesome for gaming nostalgia pro personal problems there. I mean, you usually have something layer this. This is a $12... Um, model piece that you can see once painted up looks really really good for everything that we have here now I said this looks really really sharp for the price tag that you have if you are a hobby store I think this would look really well it really pops it's really eye-catching if you put the right color to it and because of the material type it's not MDF it's not going to snap it's very very durable uh, to gameplay with the protective coating of paint that you have basically on this and having like that. So I think that's a really, really great feature from Laser Cut Card to basically have this. Um, it's this company out of Africa, but if you really are into supplying your hobby shop, you're a little worried about how things are going to hold up, I think this feature, it's, you know, from what it was, well put together um, from Mark, shows you how well you can do with things. Um, and putting stuff together with that. So, again, I wanted to 
showcase and give props to Laser Cut Car because this is an amazing building for something very, uh, very affordable. Now I'm going to go back and look into some of the other things they basically have to see exactly how, um, you know, what other things I can get because it can really help build a table at our hobby store and you know it's going to be safe it's not going it's going to hold up it's going to be durable for what we need there but it's going to be a very low cost to be able to do so so i recommend you checking that out uh just go to spectre studios you can find laser cut card there on a lot of our forum talk right there we'll post it in that stuff i'll probably put a link for the uh, in the comments below for this so you can go check them out and uh remember if you want to see some more things that can help your gameplay Remember to subscribe to Spectre Studios and check out the series Gaming Plus because that's exactly what that series will do. Thanks again. Studio. Playing. You're the game.